Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Real Light. It's been long awaited on my channel and uh, we got a very exciting episode for you guys because last episode we ended off with an 8 game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a 9th and a 10th game win streak which means we can buy an 8750 pack and we can also pick up a special card if we can get that 10th game win streak. So lots of things to look forward to this episode. As well, you can see there, there's a lot of milestone cards. So if we can win this next game, open that pack, we also have a chance to get one of those new special cards. Hopefully one of those Crosbys or Ovechkins. Anyways, we are right now in Division 5. Uh, we got four points in the season, just three more wins just to stay in Division 5. And uh, we are 2-0-0, so we're looking pretty good so far. Anyways, this is how the team is looking like in case you forgot how it's looking like. Uh, Patrick Marlowe, Matthew Perot, and Michael Bodker on the first line. Definitely a very sick first line just to get that speed going. Wheeler, Boyle, and Forsberg on the second. Niederreiter, Gergensens, and Lucic on the third. And on the fourth, we got Doan, Clink, Hammer, and Stone. And in the defense spot, we got Jake Garner, Kari Lennon, and the newly picked up Nicholas Cromwell. And we're hoping that he can play good this game uh, coming up. We also got Chris Summers, the goal scoring machine, uh, Mark Stahl. We also got one more bronze player left on the team, Carlisle, as well as Nate Prosser. So we're going to get right into the first game. We need this win and hopefully buy another pack. I'll meet you guys there. All right, here we go. We're playing in Montreal. He's got Thomas Tatar, Sagan, and I don't know who's on his right wing, but he's got a sick-ass team, and already my controller is not working here. All right, there we go. So I haven't played a game in quite some time. I'm not sure if there's new tuner sets or what's going on, but uh, he's got Yuri Hoodler. Oh, God. All right, we're doing good so far. We got to make sure that we don't put the puck in our own net. Uh, so let's get this game going, and uh, let's see if we can score some goals. Oh, there's a cross crease. Oh, Clint Cameron, you got to tuck that one in. Oh, man, I don't know what strategies I'm using in this game to score some goals. Oh, just rifle it. Let's get some shots on net, see what we can do. In front, Clint Cameron again. Another cross crease. Can't tuck her in. All right, come on, one more chance, one more chance. In front. Oh, Shane Doan, the fourth liners. They can't get it done. No, oh, oh, big save by Corey Lennon. So far, it's almost the end of the first period, and, uh, oh, man, he bailed me out there. Come on, fourth liners now. Let's see what they can do. Oh, there it is. Shoot! Oh, Doan! A nice little, uh, passing play there, but we couldn't tuck it. One more chance, one more chance. We got four seconds. Snipe it! Oh, just a horrible shot. Anyways, we'll go look at the stats here, and um, I'll show you guys the stats. All right, so 12 to 5 in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 1 minute and 13 seconds. All right, we got a 2-minute power play. Let's see if we can uh, capitalize on this chance. Tie him up. Oh, there it is. Let's go in 5 hole. Oh, Tuka Rask. I just cannot beat him right now. We're pumping him with shots. And pretty much, we. I think we have about 15 so far, uh, but so far nothing. One more time. Oh, the glove save. Just can't do anything. That's got to go in. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? I just cannot tuck one pie uh, to go rass. There's nothing I can do. Look at the cross creasers. They are nonstop. And still, he's just making every single save. One more time. That's got to go in. Matthew Perot with a slapper from the hash marks. And we make it one to nothing. About time we scored a goal. All right, there you go. We have the lead now, one to nothing. I feel uh, pretty good now. Here we go. He got a slashing penalty, a five on three. We'll pass it back to the point there. Come on, where's Cromwell? We need Cromwell to score a goal for us. Come on, oh, there it is. Pass it, just pass it. Passing plays! The tic-tac-toe, and Bo Brian Boyle makes no mistake and scores a goal. The Brian Boyle that doesn't even look like Brian Boyle. But two to nothing now. We capitalize on the five on three. That's what I'm talking about. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, the flying Pokeroony. Oh, I totally messed that up. I totally forgot that you need to click the right bumper in X. I did the right bumper in A. I still made the save. Oh, there it is. Doesn't matter though. We're going to score a goal. The tip. Shoot. Oh, Forsberg. He was in front of the net. We just could not get the garbage goal in. Oh, no. Another breakaway. Flying Pokeroony. No. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why, but every time I try the flying poke check, my guy likes to slide out to the right, and he gives it like an open lane in the middle. I gotta practice my flying poke checks just a little bit, but he makes it 2-1 with Patrick Hornfist. Oh boy, we got a game. 
Holy crap, look at the stats for the second period. 34 to 9 shots, 7 minutes time attack to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I gotta really stop giving up those breakaways or I'm gonna maybe lose the lead here. I need to score a couple goals as well, so let's see what we can do. We need to keep it up. Oh no, and Patrick Sharp tucks it in. That was my fear, losing the lead, and now it is tied back up. That was some bad defense there. The two weeks of not playing is catching up with me. We'll have to get that goal back. Are you serious? I just cannot score a goal. Come on, the glitch goal. It's got to go in after that one. Oh my goodness. I swear to God, we had like 50 shots on net so far, and we've only scored three of them. Tuka Rask is absolutely playing lights out for him, so we need another goal. Get that insurance marker here, guys. All right, and that is going to end the game. A little bit of a scary one there. We could have lost the game, but we did score one goal to make it 3-2. Anyways, that is a pretty big win for us. Let's take a look at the stats here. It's going to be absolutely crazy. All right, so let's take a look at the game stats. 52 shots on net. I think that's like a world record. That's like half of a hundred right there. He's got 14 there. 11 minutes timeout attack to 4 minutes and 50 seconds timeout attack. So we play a pretty good game. And of course, Tuka Rast definitely got to get the first star. Definitely bailing him out. As well as Blake Wheeler getting the second star. And Patrick Sharp with the third one. So anyways, let's choose the second 22nd player on the second page. Uh, and I'll meet you guys there. We'll raise the buy now minimum to 9,000 as well. Alright guys, so we are at the auction search page. Uh, we raised the buy now minimum to 9,000 and we're going to be choosing the 52nd player here and he should be on the second page and the 22nd player. So uh, we did sell a player, that's why my coin total went up. So uh, hopefully we can fund enough money for like a really good player, maybe like a Stamkos or a uh, Shea Weber, someone that's really really good, hopefully. Alright, let's search it up, let's see what we get. So the first page should have exactly 30 players, so I'm just going to skip through the whole page, and uh, we'll just go right into the second page. And the 22nd player is going to be, let's count it out, it's going to be, after we search it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 Roberto Luongo an 87 overall goalie definitely not a bad pickup uh, he can replace Kari Lennon take out our backup goalie so far I don't know I don't remember who our backup goalie was but let's throw him to the team see where he fits in but before we do that because we are on a nine game win streak that means we can buy an 8750 pack for the team so uh, this hopefully will upgrade just a couple of our players and uh, let's see if we can pull one of those Crosby's or Ovechkin's and I already have the Roberto Luongo in my collection, so I didn't spend any coins on that. So, let's open this up. Come on, EA. Show us something good for our team, for our hot roulette squad. And we're going to get Thomas Tatar. Not a bad player, a pretty good left winger. Uh, we also got a right defenseman who will replace Carlisle there. Uh, we got Postma. And I thought we got another player at the back. We also got Stefan Robota. I probably will throw him instead of... Uh, Postma because he has higher overall stats, but we'll see what happens. And we also got to change team to Minnesota. I'll meet you guys back at the team and we'll put in our new pickups. All right, here we go, guys. The team has been put together. Uh, we put we did some minor changes here and there, but nothing too crazy because we didn't get really anything too special there. But me along Lee Cheech, I put the Minnesota change team. I didn't forget, and he's now playing alongside with Nita Ryder, who also has chemistry with him. And uh, honestly, it doesn't make that big of a difference. I want to put some Winnipeg change teams on my players but that will happen in due time i just kind of want to get some chemistry up while i had the chance to do it and thomas tatar has replaced shane doan on the fourth line he's now on the fourth line left wing uh and he's going to be playing alongside with clink hammer and mark stone so we're going to see how that line turns out as well as the defense definitely upgraded by quite a bit we got a new starting goaltender roberto luongo 87 overall he's a little bit higher overall than uh, Kari lennon so i will give him the start for this next game we need to get this win so we can pick up a special card from the marketplace and on line two postma is now playing alongside with mark stall 
third line, we got Robida and Prosser taking out Carlisle, and also Chris Summers, a guy that I really like to play with, but I want to give Postma a chance to uh, maybe get some uh, ice time, and we'll see if we can uh, produce anything for us. So anyways, we're starting the second game of this episode. Hopefully we can win it. We need this 10 game win streak to pick up a special card. I'll meet you guys there. All right, so we're starting up this game. Let's see who he has. Everybody's are everybody's using these jerseys. He's got Sean Couturier. He's got Bodker on the left wing as well. And we definitely switched up our jerseys as well. I thought it was time for a change. Uh, we went back to the Hamilton Bulldogs. We're going to rep those for now. Anyways, we're going to get the second game started. Let's see what we can do. And uh, let's not lose up too many goals in the beginning of the game. Oh, beautiful pass. Forsberg, you got to pick that up. Oh man, that could have been a clear break, but he just skated right by it. I think uh, I accidentally didn't uh, let go of the sprint button, and I guess he couldn't pick up the puck cleanly. Oh, the flying Pokeroonie works again. Gotta switch back to the uh, players right after I do that too. I almost let in a goal after that. Alright, broken stick. Come on. It's almost the end of the first period. Don't give up any goals or anything. Come on, Thomas Tatar. We're playing good so far. This guy's definitely not a bad opponent. And there is the first period. Let's take a look at the stats. 6 to 7 shots. 2 minutes, 30 seconds time on attack to 2. We both got a breakaway each, but we could not tuck it in. So we gotta play a little bit better here. Come on. Second period. A new slate. Let's get it going. Mmm, nice save Roberto Luongo. He's absolutely stoning some, make some big saves here and there. Oh, get by Katori. The double backhand. You know what it is. Uh, who is that? Michael Vodker? Michael Vodker with a double backhand absolutely weaving in and out of his defenders and we make it one of nothing. Oh man, that lead is good to have, especially when this guy is not too bad at this game. All right, one to nothing, second period. Good so far. Oh no, a three on one. Come on, just take him right there. Take him right there. Don't let him buy any farther than that. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you gotta do it. You just gotta be a little bit aggressive, but uh, play a little bit safe as well. All right, come on. We're still on the penalty kill. Let's see what we can do. Oh, pass it. There it is, Gergensen's. Oh, I try to do the backhand forehand. Bring it around the net. Lucic. Oh, oh no, there was an empty net. I just shot a little bit too early. Pulled the trigger just a little bit too quick. And, uh,. We just missed by a little bit. Come on. We got, we're back five on five. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, there's a break. Come on, Wheeler. Come on, Wheeler. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow in that chance? Oh, man. He's probably out of energy, out of gas. Stone, you got to get back. <laughs> Absolutely horrible shot. Oh, no. In front of the net. Get the guy in front. Get the guy in front. Don't let him do any more cross creasers. Got to watch out for that just a little bit. Come on, get the puck out, please. Oh, and we get a penalty. Alright, let's hopefully not uh, lose a goal here. Hopefully the next clip is not me getting scored on. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, that was close. At least we didn't get scored on, right? Just hits a post. And anyways, we're ending the second period off with still a one nothing lead. Doing not too bad so far. Alright, just a quick look at the stats before we get into the third period. 13 and 13 in shots, 5 minutes, time on attack to 4. Uh, definitely the time on attack. Not liking how I'm giving up so much time, especially with those penalty minutes. We gotta be a little bit more disciplined with those poke checks. So, let's keep it going here. Third period's just about to start. Oh, beautiful. Oh, trying to get the 5 hole shot. Oh, Cronwall's there! Cronwall! I saw him wide open and he couldn't score that one in. I don't know what's with the cross creasers today. They are just not going in for me. Oh, uh, back down. Marlow. Come on, Marlow. Uh, let's get a shot on net. Rifle it! Yes! Post in! Postma? That's not Postma, but Marlow scores a goal post in, making it 2 to nothing. We got the insurance marker. We just gotta play some good defense now. Come on, we can do this. Oh my goodness, the backdoor play. Wheeler absolutely setting up Brian Boyle. And also he scored another one, giving him a two-goal streak so far. And there it is. 
he quits the game and we win with a score of three to nothing i will take that win any day so that means since we have a 10 game win streak we're going to be picking up a special card from the marketplace so i'll meet you guys at random.org and we'll choose a special card from there all right so welcome back to random.org you guys know we got all the different types of collection types right now in our notepad document we're going to copy and paste it into the list randomizer and whatever we get is uh what we get the number the top choice is what we're going to be picking so there are, are some new categories like milestones which we didn't have last time well uh, there's new player of the games as well as hockey fight cancer cards so there's a lot of good stuff to pull now and we got to get something good so let's copy and paste that list into random.org we're going to randomize in three two one something good and we're gonna get milestone that is definitely not too bad so i'll meet you guys back at the auction search page and we're gonna be choosing the 17th milestone card all right guys so let's see how lucky we can get this time around we're gonna be picking the milestone card i know there's a milestone ovechkin that is out so uh, we could have a chance of getting that as well so lots of players to pull oh man i am excited to see what we get all right so we're gonna be choosing the 17th player we'll search the page in three two one let's see what we get and the 17th player on this page is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen we passed by a couple of milestone ovechkins but jason garrison is the player we're going to be picking up for a hot roulette episode so let's buy him out see where he fits in so there we have it guys that is pretty much going to be the end of episode number seven of hot roulette we threw in jason garrison into the first line defensive spot playing alongside with jason or nicholas cronwall and that definitely strengthens up our defensive core just a little bit and of course roberto luongo which we picked up last game he's going to make a big presence hopefully in continuing the streak next episode so anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys did leave a like Leave me some more line suggestions in the comment box below. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys later and have a good day. Bye. Davidson, yeah, that's a bad pack. We got about two more packs for the 8750s. Can we get something good? Let's see it. And then we'll do uh, a lot of uh, 17,500 packs after. See if the luck changes. Let's go on, next pack. Oh! Henry